Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hetty. I uh, wanted to give you an update. We have snow, which is working through the region. Um, actually, moderate to heavy snow at times, but this band is very small, so it's not going to cause a whole bunch of issues across the region. But we are getting some uh, at least minor accumulations across the region as we go through the morning hours. So we do need to keep our eyes on that. So this is a little intense band that is pushing through over the past couple hours, uh, and this is going to continue for about the next hour or two. There have been a few school delays across the region just due to the intensity that the snow is going down. Of course, I want to give a huge shout out to Superior Roofing and Construction. They are a four-state premier roofing contractor, family-owned. They're located in Joplin, 7th and High Street. I had them do my roof a couple months ago. Give them a call. They know their stuff. All right, so let's take a look at this system. Uh, you can see on the back side, we're getting a band of snow. It's very windy out there. We have winds which are gusting uh, 30 upwards to 40 miles per hour at times, which is not fun. And uh, on top of that, we got the very intense snow. First off, let's go in. So where you see the darker blues, so I look at this band just from Stockton. This is rain, snow mixed, Greenfield to Carthage. Joplin, Miami, Vanita, all seeing a pretty intense band of snow. So within this little intense band of snow along the I-44 corridor, we are picking up a very quick half inch upwards to an inch. Now, most of this is on the grassy surfaces, uh, but there still may be some slushy spots on the road. So be careful if you are going to be out. You can see uh, when it goes over to rain, Mount Vernon, Monette, I mean, these are like thunderstorms. So this is very intense, heavy, heavy snow. Uh, and then it really starts to fall apart once you get across southeastern Kansas. We still have a few bands of light snow, but this is not a long period of snow by any means. This is going to work very quickly through, and then it's going to be gone. But most areas, again, especially um, where you see these heavier pockets, northeast Oklahoma, once we get into southwestern Missouri, south of I-44, even northwest Arkansas, you're going to pick up a very quick half an inch to an inch of snow. Now, where you see this heavier band of snow, look at this. Okay, so Columbia, let me zoom in here, up toward Lake of the Ozarks, Lebanon, Springfield, Stockton, Jeff City. You guys are all going to pick up one to two inches of snow because look how much thicker this intense band is compared to the little intense band near Joplin. So central Missouri, you are going to get one to two inches of snow uh, so that means columbia osage beach lebanon springfield rolla all getting one to two inches of snow i i am going to include stockton greenfield lockwood one maybe two inches mount vernon probably a half an inch to an inch all of southwest missouri half an inch to an inch joplin carthage half an inch to an inch and then you can see the snow is starting to taper off a bit once you get across southeastern parts of Kansas. Let me loop this for you. You can see how it's kind of falling apart. Uh, it was a little bigger band, which I was hoping it would kind of stick together, but really hasn't. But we're going to have periods of light snow, light to moderate snow, over the next two hours. Most of this is going to be out of here by 9 to 10 a.m. But you can see the very intense bands out across central parts of Kansas. All right, so let's go through time. Let's see what's going to happen. This band continues to rotate through. So Springfield over towards St. Louis starting to mix by 9 a.m. Most of this out of Joplin uh, by 9 o'clock in the morning. As we continue through time, you can see it just kind of falls apart. This afternoon, look at this. Temps into the 30s. We're going to have winds gusting 30 upwards to 40 miles per hour. So this means... Wind chill factors for most areas are going to be sitting into the teens throughout the afternoon. So a huge switch from what we had yesterday. So make sure you bundle up if you are going to be outside today. Tonight, we drop back into the mid-20s, low to mid-20s, most areas. Still a lot of clouds. And then as we head into Friday, Friday looks, yeah. I mean, at least we get some sunshine. The high temps back near 40 degrees. All right, next storm system. This moves in on Monday. So Sunday, we warm back up very windy into the 50s. And then on Monday, this is when our next storm system will start to develop and head into the region, giving us some chances for rain 
across the region. Um, so that's what we'll definitely keep our eyes on as we go into early next week. Long range forecast, of course, the Arctic air is gone for a while. Rain chances Monday. We do need to watch the system next Thursday and Friday, and then again on the 24th and 25th. The pattern's really kind of picking up just a bit. Uh, the storm system kind of, well, it, I mean, it really moves in late Wednesday into Thursday, and then another one on Friday into Saturday. So that's kind of how it splits for next week. Another system on the 24th and 25th. Bigger system on the 31st into the 1st. I do think we're going to get some Arctic air that is going to start to return by the beginning of February, especially the first half of February, and then things will start to calm down just a bit. Let me backtrack here. We'll take one more look at the radar here. Intense band snow. I-44 corridor, Vanita to Miami, Joplin, Carthage, which is dropping a half an inch to an inch, mainly on the grassy surfaces. A little bit of slushy accumulation, then it picks up a little bit heavier. Greenfield Stockton over toward Camdenton. All right, guys, I'll keep you updated. I just wanted to give you guys a quick video. I hope you guys have a great Thursday, and we will chat soon.